Okay, folks, let's go ahead and talk about uh, V-Ray hair material, which is V-Ray way to communicate with the hair module inside uh, Cinema 4D. Now, uh, right now we have just this uh, hair being added to this model. So, uh, very simple hair, I've added to it to this model. And as you can see, we have this simple hair material, some color, some thickness, some uh, frizz, king, clump, and also uh, in the uh, color, in the root section, I have entered this, uh, it's a simple wallpaper, you can actually uh, go ahead and uh, enter your own wallpaper uh, if you want to. As you can see, it's a simple wallpaper, or you can use a texture or whatever you want. And uh, that is it. Now, uh, we have this material applied to, and if I go to the render setting, you can see we got our hair render being added to uh, our list here. And uh, really, that is it. Now, if I go ahead and render it, uh, and the material has been applied to, right now, this is a very uh, simple uh, Cinema 40 hair material. If I go ahead and render it, that's what we're going to get. Okay, very cool. As you can see, all the setting of our hair material has been applied to and Vera has rendered it perfectly, but uh, there is one problem and that's the uh, actual colors are uh, just, this is just simple white color and we uh, don't see the root texture that we have specified here. Now, in order to actually see those colors in your render and V-Ray can recognize them, you can go ahead and create a simple V-Ray hair material. Now, you have different options inside V-Ray hair material, but if you have this option turned on use directly hair color uh, from root to tip, you actually using the a hair color that you have specified in your Cinema 4D hair material and other than that you have some uh, sort of controls for your specular colors and uh, primary specular color, secondary specular color and the amount of those and you got some uh, emission uh, settings and some uh, more advanced settings but uh, the most important thing is by turning on this parameter you're basically using the uh, hair material uh, colors uh, and if I go ahead uh, the next thing would be to apply this material to your hair next to the v Cinema 4D hair material. Now we got the both Cinema 4D hair material and v material applied to our hair. Let's go ahead and render the thing and see what we're gonna get. There we go the render is finished and we got this very beautiful and gorgeous hair render using a Cinema 4D hair module, module and uh, V-Ray hair material and as you can see it is quite gorgeous, quite detailed and we get a lot of uh, control as we have in Cinema 4D's uh, hair material. We get the exact same controls and by just applying uh, one material, uh, V-Ray hair material to our hair, uh, we are having uh, V-Ray to communicate with our hair module and also it gives us some uh, other controls for controlling our secondary and primary uh, speculars and some other controls that really makes it very powerful way and we can have some beautiful results and it didn't took that much really it's three minutes and 40 seconds uh, for this render there you go and it's really not that much with uh, about 300,000 hairs uh, or 200 300,000 hairs in uh, this uh, scene and it's quite quick actually so uh, basically this is the last lesson uh, talking about materials in V-Ray and I hope it was enough. I have been talking for a long time about materials and now it's time to uh, move on and see what uh, other uh, tools and options and functionalities V-Ray has to offer. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and discuss uh, the remaining part and the remaining tools uh, in our next uh, sections and lessons. So I'll see you there.